What's up guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing sort of like a favorites video, but it's a little bit late to be a favorites video. And I also have a lot of non-beauty and makeup favorites, which I'm really excited to talk to you guys about. It's gonna be a really, really chill and casual video. I'm just gonna be chatting about all the products. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. And before I get into it, I just wanna make a little bit of announcement in case you do not follow me on Instagram and you did not see my little announcement that I made on Instagram a few days ago. I am actually going to be doing a meet and greet in Toronto. I'm so freaking excited. It's going to be at the Sephora Eaton Center on Saturday the 8th, like this Saturday from 2.15 to 3.30. All the details will be in the description box because I may be forgetting things, but I'm gonna be there. So please, if you are in the area and you wanna come say hi, please do, we can chat, we can play with some makeup, we could hug, we could stare into each other's eyes. I'm just so excited. So I hope some of you guys will be able to make it so that we could have some fun together. So that's my announcement. By the way, if you wanna like stay up to date with all the things that are going on, you could always follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. I update you guys there first most of the time just because it's super quick and super easy. Okay, enough to chatting. Let's get into all the favorites. I know you guys are probably so sick of hearing me talk about this product because I feel like I've spoken about it in a lot of my videos recently, um, but I just cannot do a favorites video without talking about this because it would be sort of a lie because I have literally been using this product every single day. So let me actually say what the product is. It's a Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. So this is basically a serum that's tinted bronze. So it's not even really a makeup product. It's more of a skincare product, but I do use it in my makeup routine literally every single day. So I do have like a natural tan going on right now and I just find that this product sort of enhances my natural tan, makes me look a little bit more bronze and I just, I love the way it makes my skin look, but I have been liking this specifically with this other product right over here. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. And I've gotta be honest, I don't even like this product on its own. It's sort of like a gel-like consistency. I feel like this is a moisturizer that's way more suited for people who have more of an oilier skin type because it's not really super moisturizing. It obviously gives moisture to your skin, but it's not really as creamy as I like my moisturizers to normally be. I'm getting somewhere, I promise. So I go to the gym every single day and I normally don't wear any makeup to the gym, but recently I have found that whenever I put on literally just mascara, and a little bit of this like bronzy stuff mixed in with a moisturizer, I just feel a little bit more confident. And it's not to say that you need makeup to feel confident in the gym, because you definitely don't, but the gym could be an intimidating place. And it's always nice to feel a little bit more sure of yourself when you're there, you know? And just putting that little bit of bronze on my face just makes me feel a little bit more confident, so that's what I do. So I was initially mixing the Drunk Elephant product with just like my normal, very creamy, thick moisturizer. And at the end of my workout, my skin was like wet. Like it was so glowy and sweaty. And it was just was sort of like enhanced by the fact that I had that like really creamy moisturizer on. So that is why I've been really enjoying using this moisturizer in combination with the serum because I find it's not quite as like intensely moisturizing. And I almost find that it controls my like oil and sweat just a little bit, which I really appreciate. And I also don't really feel like too weird putting on a face product before the gym because this is basically a skincare product. It's not even a makeup product. So I don't find that it clogs my pores or makes me like break out. So that was very long winded, but I think you guys get the point. This has been my favorite combo. I've literally been using it every single day. Also the packaging for this Glow Recipe Moisturizer is Beautiful. Next up, this is just a lip balm that I've been popping on my lips every single day. This is the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balm in the shade Dream. And this is basically just a soft pink shade. But when you put it on your lips, it honestly barely even tints your lips. It sort of just like enhances your natural lip color. And I've been loving this. Also for the gym, when I wanna just, you know, add a little bit of something, but I don't wanna put on a lipstick, I've been putting on this little tinted lip balm and it just adds that little bit of color without it making it even look like I'm really wearing anything. It sort of just makes my lips look a little bit more alive. The fresh tinted lip balms are some of my favorites. I have so many of the colors and I wear them all the time. I sort of just like switch between them depending on my mood, but this has been my go-to recently and I do really recommend it. If you are looking for just a great, simple, everyday, your lips would better type of tinted lip balm. And it feels really good, it's moisturizing because it is 
a lip balm, so <laughs> there you go. Next up, I have a little eyeshadow palette here from Natasha Denona, and this is the Camel Palette. Now, this is definitely a much newer product in my life. I only discovered this towards the end of the month, but I've been using it every day since, so I felt like I wanted to talk about it today because I've been really enjoying it, and I think it's a really gorgeous palette that really just embodies fall. When you look at this palette, doesn't it just make you feel so like warm and cozy? All of the colors in here are just so like deliciously fall. I'm so obsessed. And as you can tell, I am donning as much fall apparel lately as I possibly can. Even though it is so hot outside, I don't even care. As soon as it hits September, I'm like, summer's done. Fall is here. Fall me up, baby. So Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes are really expensive and that is the only big downside to this product, but the quality of the eyeshadows are really beautiful. At least you know when you are picking up a palette like this, even though it is expensive, you are getting some quality out of it, which is great. I just really love the tones in here. I think that they're so perfect for every day. Now I know what you're thinking, but Jamie, those two colors look exactly the same and I would have to agree with you. In the pan, they really do look so, so similar. When I first opened up this palette, I was a little bit disappointed to see that they had two shades that were so similar to one another, but on the eyes, they are actually quite different and they just work so well together. This shade is a little bit lighter and a little bit more neutral, and this shade over here is definitely warmer and just a little bit deeper, but they just work so well together. I love using this as my transition shade. I love putting this color into my crease and they just blend like so beautifully together. This shade over here is the most gorgeous, gorgeous, creamy highlight shade. It looks absolutely stunning all over the lid, on the inner corner, on the brow bone. It's just like so glowy and smooth. It's like one of those highlight shades that sort of just glows without any like really visible shimmer in it. Like look how pretty that is. Even putting this type of color on the tops of your cheekbones, if your skin tone would suit this is Beautiful. Next up, I've got another little eye palette here from NARS that is another new addition in my collection. This is the eyeshadow quad in the shade Singapore. I believe this is part of their new collection. So this little palette has three very, very, very shimmery and sparkly shades and then one like satin shade right over here. That's this really pretty like burgundy burgundy wine color. This color is pretty, but really the star of this little palette are these three shimmery shades. If you're looking for eyeshadow that's just gonna give you like such intense sparkle and shine to your lid, this little palette is so awesome. They are gorgeous, they are so sparkly, they catch so much like light on the eyes, and they really just make your eyes literally sparkle. The three shades that they included are so versatile and will really take you into so many different looks. You have your lighter, more champagne shade if you want more of like a light sparkly look. You have a beautiful bronze and you can really never go wrong with just like a little bit of a sparkly bronze shade all across the lid. I feel like it's very universally flattering. And then you have this really pretty more cool tone taupe shade. So I just really love how all the shades in here are so different. You can get so many different looks out of this even though this is a quad. Obviously this is not like a one-stop shop type of palette. You're gonna need to use something else with some mattes to actually build an eye look but this is a great little like add-on type of palette. And the texture of the eyeshadows themselves are really pretty. You could obviously apply them very full on and get like more of an opaque sparkly look or you're also able to just apply a very small amount and sort of just tap it over like an existing eye look that you already have just to add like a sheer sparkle layer right on top of your eye look and I really like that versatility and it's just so nice and small and cute and sleek and great. Next up, I have a little spray here from Fresh. So my bottle actually had this like weird paper over the whole entire bottle and I tried to rip it off and it didn't completely come off. So there's this weird like papery film across my bottle. I don't think that's normal. So just try and ignore that. But this is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. So this is basically just a facial spray and it's supposed to give your skin a little bit of like a natural glow. I've been using this quite a bit before applying my makeup and then after applying my makeup. It's not a setting spray that has any like glitter in it or anything like that. It sort of just makes your skin look really nice and glowy. I've sort of just been using this in place of my Cotillard Beauty Elixir. I feel like they both do very, very similar things. And I just love the spray of this as well. It's really nice and fine and it smells really, really good too. It smells like oranges. I am constantly spraying my face throughout the day with setting sprays just because I find that it feels really good. I also find that it refreshes my makeup. This has just been the current one that I've been really enjoying. Now let's talk blush. These are the two blushes that I've been wearing quite a lot this month and I've been layering both of them. So these are both from L'Oreal and they're the new Paradise Enchanted Scented Blushes. So these are both pretty peachy blushes. The lighter one over here is in the shade 190 Bashful and then the deeper one is in the shade 191 Fantastical. So what I've been doing lately is I've been taking the lighter shade 
and I've been applying it from my apple, my cheek, all the way back towards like basically my temple. And then I take the deeper shade, the deeper peach, and I will pop that right on the apple of my cheek. And I've been doing this quite a lot recently, mixing two different types of blushes, a lighter one and a little bit of a deeper one. I just feel like it gives a really pretty, more like multi-dimensional blush look. It always looks like really fresh and pretty. Look how nice these two colors just like work together. And I feel like these types of peach colors just liven up the face so well. I've really been um, preferring them over pink blushes lately, so been loving these. So those are all the makeup products that I have here to talk about. So now I'm going to move on to my non-makeup favorites. Let's talk about some beauty things. So I have here first my current favorite perfume. So this over here is the Glossier You Perfume. I swear I have never gotten so many compliments when I wear a fragrance as I do when I wear this particular fragrance. It's very difficult for me to describe scents, so I'm just gonna let the Glossier website do that for you if you're curious as to what the actual notes are in this fragrance. But if I had to describe the scent using descriptive words only, it would be that it is musky, a little bit floral, like just a touch a hair floral, and it's also very, very sexy. And just like spicy almost. I was wearing this a ton midsummer, and I felt like it wasn't like a super in-season fragrance. Like, I feel like it is a quite a heavy scent, and it's just much more suited for fall and winter. It's funny because when I first smelled this scent, I actually found that it reminded me quite a bit of my favorite Le Labo scent, which is Rose 31. The Le Labo fragrances are so expensive it hurts. And even though this isn't like the exact same scent as the Lola Beau fragrance, it still has like a very similar vibe to it, to me at least, and it's way, way, way less expensive. So. Next up, I've got a little hair product that I've been so obsessed with. This is the Dry Bar The Kicker Finishing Spray Wax. Now I actually bought this completely on a whim when, when I was in LA a few months back, and I bought this because I really wanted some sort of like texturizer for my hair. But the problem that I have with a lot of texturizer sprays is that it will make my hair textured, but it just won't really last very long. So I felt like I needed a product that gave my hair that texture, but also gave it enough hold that it stayed. And then I discovered this product and it is probably one of my favorites for two different types of hairstyles. This is literally a spray wax. So when you spray it, wax comes out. <laughs> like I just wanna make that very clear. So it's a pretty, it's not really sticky, but it's definitely more of like a heavier product. So when I spray this in my hair, especially when I have more of like those tousled waves in, it just does such a great job of just like defining my waves and making them look even more tousled because it is that waxy texture. It's sort of just like sticks those hairs together to make it look really defined. I feel like that's the only way I'm able to describe it. Also, really like this product for when I am doing a very like slicked back ponytail or bun. I do have a lot of baby hairs and my hair just never really likes to cooperate. So when I really want it to be very, very slick, I've been taking this product and sort of just like spraying a little bit of it right at the surface of my hair and then taking a brush or a comb and just like slicking my hair back. And it just does such a great job of really slicking everything back without it making it look wet or waxy or just making the hair feel really shitty. It will keep it in place and it'll keep it looking smooth, but it won't look and feel bad. And this has just been my secret weapon lately. It is so good. It also smells like marshmallows, which is a plus. Okay, so that is it for my beauty favorites. So now I have, I think only like three non-beauty favorites. These are the best silicone nipple covers I have ever tried. And this is what they look like. Oh, so I will often wear uh, nipple covers if I don't wanna feel all nippy when I'm wearing um, more of like a tight, low cut top and I'm not wearing a bra. So I've been trying so many different nipple covers and these are by far the best ones I have ever tried. So they're called nippies. You got two sides to it. One side is really nice and smooth and the other side is self-adhesive and sticky so that you could actually stick it on yourself. And I'm telling you guys, I have worn these for 12 hours in a row and they do not move. I've worn these also at least 30 times and they are still very, very sticky. But what makes these so great is actually how thin they actually are. The silicone on the side is so incredibly thin. So it does a really great job of sort of blending into your skin because another problem with a lot of nipple covers is that you will actually see them through your, your shirts, which is not what you want, especially if you are wearing like a really, really tight shirt. I have worn tight white tank tops with this 
and you do not see these through a tight white tank top and that is like the true test. They are honestly just the best. I cannot recommend them enough. If you're looking for good little nipple covers, these are fantastic. And um, yeah, I will be I'll be using these for, for years to come. So next up, I have my new camera over here and I'm so in love with it. And I actually Instagram storied about it when I first got it. And a lot of you guys were asking me to give you an update on my thoughts once I started to use it. I have been looking for a camera to use purely for photography and not for video. I have my Canon G7X, which is another like small point and shoot camera, but I use that mainly for vlogging this is a camera that I use only for photos and I wanted this especially for when I travel you know a lot of digital cameras are very similar to one another yes some are like better quality than others but at the end of the day you get a fine looking digital photo so especially with digital cameras it's hard to find a camera that actually has some personality to it similar to how film cameras have personality to it. Like when you capture something on film, it just has that certain like quality and essence to it that just makes it a little bit special. And with digital cameras, I feel like that is a little bit lost. But since I've started shooting on this camera, I really feel like this camera has like that same type of personality and essence that a lot of film cameras do. What makes this camera so cool and what makes me love this so much is that you are actually able to shoot by using film simulation filters. So there are like multiple different filters in this camera that are supposed to simulate different film effects. They are so incredibly well done. A lot of cameras will have like color filters in them and you literally never use them because they look like garbage, but these are gorgeous, like so beautiful and stunning. Like I have taken so many photos on this and I will bring it into my computer and I will not even touch it with an editing software because it just looks so incredible. This picture right over here is one that I just posted on my Instagram and this is raw from my camera. I did add like a little bit of like a film dust effect on top. Also like up to the brightness just a little bit, but that is all that I touched. There's no filter on this picture that is straight from my camera. And that to me is just so impressive. And it just makes shooting with this camera just so fun because you just get that little bit of that extra personality with all of your photos. And I just also love the way this camera looks. It looks like a vintage camera to me and that just makes it really fun to like carry around and to hold like it feels like such an awesome, easy to use type of camera. I also really like the fact that with this camera, you actually have to adjust the ISO aperture and f-stop directly on the camera. That is just like another aspect of this camera that just makes it really, really fun to shoot with. I absolutely love this. I totally would recommend it. The quality of the pictures are stunning and yeah, I'm so excited to shoot with this when I travel. So guys, those are all of the things that I've been loving at the moment. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below. Let me know some things that you've been liking. Of course, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.